Good morning. Today we're Deuteronomy 13, 14, and 15. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, which giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and shall keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death, because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which had brought you out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out in the way which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in. So shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of thee, if thy brother, thy son, of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, or which is thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known, nor thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are round about you. Nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth, thou shalt not consent unto him, or hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shall thou spare, neither shall thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him, thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people, and thou shalt stone him with stones. And that he died, because he has sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and all Israel shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness of this among you. And thou shalt hear in one of thy cities which the Lord thy God hath given thee to dwell there, saying, Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you, and you have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which ye have not known. Then thou shalt inquire and make search and ask diligently, and behold, if it be the truth and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought among you, thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of the city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is therein, and the cattle thereof, and the edge of the sword. And thou shalt gather all the spoil of it into the midst of the street thereof, and shall burn with the fire of the city." And the spoil thereof every whip for the Lord thy God, and it shall be a heap forever, and it shall not be built again. And there shall cleave naught of the cursed thing to thine hand, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show thee mercy, and have compassion upon thee, and multiply thee as he has sworn unto thy fathers. When thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep all his commandments which I command me this day, I do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 14, you are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all nations that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing, and these are the beasts which you shall eat. The ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the roebuck, the fallow deer, the wild goat, the pygard, the wild ox, and the chemos, and every beast that parteth the hoof, that cleaveth the cleft into two claws, and that cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or them that divide the cloven hoof. The camel, the hare, the coney, for they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof, and therefore they are unclean to you. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean to you. You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, and all that have fins and scales ye shall eat. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, you may not eat, it is unclean to you. Of all the birds ye shall eat, but these are the which that these are they of which ye shall not eat. The eagle, the ostrich, the osprey, and the glade, and the kite, the vulture after his kind, and every raven after his kind, and the owl and the night hawk, the cuckoo, and the hawk after his kind. The little owl, the great owl, the swan, the pelican, the gear eagle, and the cormorant, and the stork, and the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat, everything that creepeth, every, and every creeping thing that flieth is unclean unto you, and they shall not be eaten. But of all the clean fowls you may eat. You shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it to the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it. Or thou mayest sell it to an alien. For thou art a holy people to the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed, that the field bringeth forth. 
year by year. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, of thine oil, and the firstlings of thy herd, and thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, then thou shalt turn it into money, and bind up the money in his hand, and thou shalt go into the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lustest after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thy soul desireth. And thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God, and thou shalt rejoice thou and thine husband, or thou and thine household. And the Levite that is within thy gates, thou shalt not forsake him, for he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. At the end of three years, thou shalt bring forth all thine, all the tithe of thine increase the same year, and shall lay it up within thy gates. And the Levite, because he hath no part or inheritance with thee, and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow which are in thy gates shall come and shall eat and be satisfied, that the Lord thy God may bless thee in all the work of thine hand which thou doest. Deuteronomy 15, At the end of every seven years thou shalt make a release, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth aught unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother's thine hand shall release, save when there are no poor among you. For the Lord shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all these commandments, which I command thee this day. For the Lord thy God blesseth thee, and he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt not reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. <laughs> Sorry about that. Verse 7. If there be any among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, or shut thine hand from the poor brother, but thou shalt open thine hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need, and that which he wanteth. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release is at hand in thine eye, be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him not. And he cried to the Lord against thee, and it be sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou grievest, givest unto him, because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to the poor, to the needy in the land. And if thy brother, a Hebrew man and a Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee and serve thee six years in the seventh year, thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou sendest him out free from thee, and thou shalt not let him go away empty, thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock, and out of thy floor, and out of thy winepress, of the Lord, wherewith the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, that thou shalt give him. And thou shalt remember that wast a bondsman in the land of Egypt, and the Lord thy God redeemed me, therefore I command thee to this thing today. And if it be, and if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee in thine house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take it all, and thrust it into his ear, and to the door, and he shall be thy servant forever. And also unto thy maid, maid servant thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto thee, when thou sendest him away free from thee, for he hath been worth a double hired servant to thee, in serving thee six years, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all that thou doest. All the firstly males that come of the herd and all the flock shall thou sanctify unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock, nor shear the firstling of thy sheep. Thou shalt eat it before the Lord thy God year by year in the place which the Lord shall choose thou and thy household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it to the Lord thy God. Thou shalt eat it. Within thy gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof, thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. <laughs>